Wild body camera video shows what led up to an officer-involved shooting in New Mexico after a suspect ran off from police and fired multiple shots at the cops. The Albuquerque Police Department released the body camera footage this week from the May 10th shootout. At about 7.30 that evening, the gunshot detection system Shot Spotter picked up six gunshots fired on the city's southeast side. Who's shooting? PD Body camera video shows officers arriving on the scene. Officer Alex Castellano can be heard calling out at the suspect, later identified as 33-year-old Kevin Trujillo. My man, come here, police department, come here. Show me your hands. Instead of stopping, Trujillo runs off. Show me your hands. As officers chase him, Trujillo points a weapon in their direction and fires multiple shots. Body camera footage from another responding officer shows the incident from another angle. After the shooting, officers continue to search for Trujillo. He's running southbound. Okay, let's just go. Police department! Oh no, yeah, for yourself. Where'd he go? Get up here. Where'd he go? Here, stick. Are you okay? Check for air support and anybody with a rifle. Bill, subject wearing all black. Well, five foot ten, medium build. Are you with the Alvarado? Body camera video from another officer shows the minutes after the shooting. Anderson? Almost. Ben Anderson. Who is that? What's proven? Stay over here. Stay over here. Stop. Alex. Interesting, Alvarado. Oh. 
Everybody's okay. Do wet checks. Any rescue stays at that smoke shop. The kill zone is just north. Yeah, right, brother. Once you get rounds up. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's alive? Yeah. 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 Okay. Officials say Trujillo fired five shots at officers who returned three. Trujillo was shot and injured in the shoulder. Hours after the shooting, he surrendered to a SWAT team. Officials later spoke to his mother, who said her son is homeless and schizophrenic. Trujillo now faces multiple charges, including aggravated assault on a peace officer and resisting arrest. A judge ruled he must remain in jail until his trial, and right now, he's due back in court on July 3rd for a scheduling conference. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.